What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 vendor reset video. This will be Cassie Mendoza. So make sure to double check the vendor reset, the normal vendor reset, which was yesterday. I do them every single week. So make sure to click that notification bell to stay up to date when I post these videos every single week. So let's have a look and see first and foremost how to access Cassie Mendoza. First, you need to find the snitch. Go west of Lincoln Memorial, right over there. You can find him just north of the shop safe house, right there by the mask control point, just east of it. Then by the Truman safe house, just go right over there by the outcast lockbox. Straight there, you'll see like a green truck. Then you'll find Cassie Mendoza's logo, which will be this little shopping trolley. Then go over there and just have a look. If it's open, it says mine closes in 20 hours. So just keep that in mind. It should be open if you guys see this video and you have enough time to do it. Otherwise, she closes for quite a significant time. You don't have to do the bounty when you access the snitch. Once you just accept it, you can just go straight after you've done it the first time. You never have to do it again. But you do have to find the snitch constantly, which is very, very annoying. So let's have a look and see what Cassie has for us this week. She has some pretty good items, if I say so. So we've got the Tsunami shotgun, which has got perfect pummel. Two consecutive kills we fill the magazine and grants plus 40% weapon damage for 10 seconds. This has got 12.5% swap speed. Could work really well if you guys use it with versatile or something like that. So just keep that in mind. You might actually want to keep this on. Uh, or change it for damage targets out of cover, which is actually a, a, a state in the next piece, which is Fox's Prey knee pads. These are actually really good. We have got obviously 8% damage targets out of cover and 14.1% weapon damage which is quite high these are better than the ones I had by about 1% weapon damage which is really nice there's skill haste but you can just reroll that for whatever you want then we've got an eclipse protocol backpack now just a, just a quick little thing uh, system aggravator a lot of people use this in the wrong way this gives you skill damage and weapon damage uh, if you're using a healing skill and a, like a normal skill build with damage you want to actually use uh, another kind of talent, which is shock and awe, which gives you a perfect shock and awe, gives you 20% skill damage and healing for 27 seconds. This only gives you 15% skill and weapon damage to the, the enemy that's actually on the status effect. So it's more difficult to use and it only, it doesn't actually give you healing. So just remember that when you're using your build and what kind of skills you want to use, because I see a lot of people with healing skills uh, and no weapon damage, no kind of hybrid builds using this, and it just doesn't make sense. Rather, try and use shock and awe, but obviously base it on whether or not you want to use a repair skill or focus more on your weapon damage or using your weapons. So let's have a look at ongoing directive chest piece, which is next. 12.5% weapon damage. The close protocol mo uh, backpack came with 11.4% crit damage. Then chest piece got skill damage 7.1%, which is not too bad. Parabellum rounds. This is a very nice gear set nowadays. You can have a lot of damage on your build with this. The hollow point ammo weapon damage amplification to um, 35% which is really really high you can do big damage with this it's a great gear set make sure to come and purchase this if you need it then we've got the gloves as well which has got 7.8% explosive resistance foundry bulwark knee pads with 127k armor status effects 8.6% future initiative holster with weapon handling 6.5% true patriot mask with whip, uh, repair skill 7.6% FAL this has got steady handed and stability 10.5% M4501 with bread basket and health damage. Honey, you gloves. These are actually really good. I purchased them myself. To also get the maxed out skill damage, which is currently on here. Very nice. Add it to your library. If your triangle is not at the end of the bar, then you don't have the best in the library. So purchase these. It's also got skill damage, but it's very low. I'll just reroll this for something else. Group of summer mask. Very nice for hybrid builds, weapon handling and repair skills. Three quarter rolls. Then a defensive mod of 16k. Armor on kill. Very nice. If you guys want to utilize armor on kill make sure to use the gunner specialization it gives you an additional 10 percent very very nice mod there then we've got for the chem launcher 14.2 and snare health so make sure you guys uh, leave a like subscribe click that notification bell consider becoming a member follow me on twitch links will be in the description and i'll be seeing everybody in the next week's vendor resets or any kind of video so peace out agents